So back to the making of this maquette, one thing I'm noticing um, that I'm having trouble with is this middle section that I want to be the body. Um, I want it to be kind of an oval form, like an oval sphere, an ovated sphere. And I, I'm kind of starting to naturally like turn it back in too quickly. Um, so in other words, the subtlety of that positive curve that goes around, you see I've done some drawing there. Um, it's very difficult for me to kind of <clears throat> relax into that. I kind of am I'm trying to bring this back in too abruptly. Um, so that's another thing that, you know, you may not solve everything in a maquette, but you may say, oh, here's where I need to really pay attention. So you see like the widest point is like here and I've already started coming back in and I kind of want that widest point to be up a little more. In other words, I want this body to be kind of longer. I'm going to go around and push that lower widest point in a little bit and see if I can't bring this upper area out a little bit. So, I mean, the great thing about being an intermediate is that we can start to kind of look at these subtleties as we go. You know, it's great when you can get to a point where you can start to pay attention to the details. Then you're really starting to make some of your best work. <laughs> so I need to... I need to continue to pay attention to that. It's not just like, oh, I solved it, right? It's, it's oh, that long run along that positive curve is very challenging. So I need to work slowly through this space and really kind of address it. I still haven't really decided how I'm going to deal with uh, the end, you know, up above the neck. Um, but that's the great thing of a smaller piece or a maquette is that I could keep this thing wet and I could add several different tops to it or necks to it and then see which one that I'm most interested in as I go. You know, the thing that I really like about this form is how the um, negative space around this, <clears throat> this foot or leg area would almost accommodate, right, the positive curve. Or in other words, this reverse curve is the is the opposite of this positive curve here. So these things could kind of essentially almost nest if they were, you know, laying down next to each other or spoon, however you want to kind of look at it. All right, so I'm going to keep going.